Hello, 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 and welcome to the third set of this wonderful December 12th Follies. Thank you for staying around to watch our next act up, our final act for the night, which is get a room. And I'm going to introduce Hillary, who's going to introduce the group. Come on up, Hillary. Welcome. Hello, Mickey. My name is Hilary Febre, and I have the distinct honor of introducing my troupe, Get a Room, and we are absolutely delighted to be here on Vintage Improv. It has a special meaning to us because we are an all-female vintage troupe who work with objects such as this, or such as this. We bring them to life, and we're going to bring you a great show. Let it start. Everybody ready? Oh, yeah. <sighs> I'm a starfish. I feel like I'm still alive and I've been preserved, and I can watch the entire room from where I am, and I'm an object to art, and I'm beloved by old and young as well. Sometimes the young ones especially want to touch me, and they can be a little rough sometimes, but I do enjoy being held. And now I'd, I'd like to introduce somebody to you, and my friend, the Little Lighthouse. Come forward safely. I will light your way. As a lighthouse, it is my joy to bring you home safely. Although I do fear sometimes no one pays attention and you founder you don't listen to my warnings. And there are so many warnings in this life. And now, one of my most beloved fellow entities, the brass clock. Time. <laughs> Who doesn't love a good time? I mean, I get looked at a lot. I get wound sometimes. But when they wind me, they leave some fingerprints on me sometimes. And I'm not real fond of sticky fingerprints. <laughs> anyway, time is your friend. Now we'll meet the white wicker basket. People look at me and think I'm so simple, but I carry all sorts of things that you can't see that are inside of me. <laughs> I specialize in it. I specialize in looking simple on the outside and a bit strange on the inside. 
I like that about myself. I like being mysterious and I like being simple. You are adorable. <laughs> so are you. You know, we both like to have a good time. That's why I'm glad you're here with me right now. <laughs> I mean, you're rather pointed. And I think I'm a bit poignant because people are always concerned that they're going to run out of time. They are. They are so afraid of that. And I may be pointed, but I've got rounded edges so I could hold you perhaps someday with my uh, multiple five arms all around you. Ooh, I, I only not, have, I, won't I only it. have two, two hands, but um, five arms holding me, wow. And I won't leave fingerprints because I know that bothers you and me. Yeah, I mean, we have to look gorgeous in this room. The, the Jones family, they're into looks. <laughs> they certainly are. And we're two of the more desirable looking items. Oh, we certainly are. <laughs> We certainly are. We're so admired when people come in the room. I don't know who's admired more. Sometimes I think it, it could be you, but it's most likely me. Uh, probably, <laughs> but not, not necessarily. I mean, when it comes to admiration, when somebody turns you on all the time, <laughs> That's a clue. You do have a really good point there, and you're poignant as well. But I must say, remember, I am the star in here. Oh, yes, that's right. You are a star. Huh. Well, I think that we can both be enjoying the fact that we're so enjoyed <laughs> absolutely my friend absolutely oh. <sighs> this has been a really enlightening conversation and i think that it's drawn us a bit closer but possibly made us a little bit more distant too like the waves coming in and out. It's the yin and yang of our relationship. <sighs> I love when you talk to me about things that I'm not quite as familiar with. <sighs> See you later, my starfish friend. Bye, Clocky. I am. I'm sorry, but I am. I'm I'm kind of nervous around you. Oh. You're, you're mysterious and I feel like you're hiding things. I am hiding things. Huh. <laughs> I, knew I knew it. I knew you were hiding things. <laughs> I, I, should I I'd laugh? <laughs> I would never hurt you. Never. I'm not afraid for me. I I am a protector. I am someone who sheds the light. Let me tell you something, sweetheart. People in this room are taking themselves awfully seriously. Mm. Can't we have a little fun here? It's like 
playing Clue. I mean, you know, I mean, that starfish over there thinks she's pretty special. I think oh. you're the one who's special, frankly, because you're the one that sends out the beacon of truth. And frankly, yes, I believe it. I believe it. I believe you. And you know what? I need your truth. Well, I, not to talk, you know, bad, but I, I'm friends with the real stars, you know, the ones in the heavens. Those yeah. are my friends. You're friends with those stars? We talk. Oh, les étoiles. One of my tricks is I can do different languages. Les étoiles, the stars. Mm. Les étoiles. Les Except étoiles. I don't, don't know how to say heavens in, in another language. Mm. I don't either. Maybe you don't have a dictionary inside. Le paradis, le paradis, le paradis. La paradis. Le paradis, oui, quoi. <laughs> anyway, forget that. Forget that. I think, uh, I think uh, you have a lot to give to us. I think uh, just go with it. I, I want to know more. I, I see you there with your mysterious ways and, and a, a basket full of items. Right now. Languages. I'm playing with you. I'm playing with you right now. What I have in, inside of me is a very old embroidered pocket handkerchief. That's it. That is all I have. Nothing. <sighs> Time. I mean, I overheard a little bit of that previous conversation and I feel like Starfish and I were in accord. I mean, timeless treasures, you know. <laughs> The light that shines from you, Lighty, is so beautiful, especially the way it lights my beautiful and delicate features. Allow me, allow me to further enlighten. There. Further enlighten extremely what? I, I want to see your beauty. I want to see it. I'm looking. I'm looking. Oh, I see. Well, it's so I see. apparent. I mean, you don't have to look that deeply. We both radiate. I see you. so many fingerprints. So many <sighs> fingerprints. No fault of ours at all. No fault of ours. <laughs> No, I mean, if the Jones would be more careful, there wouldn't be all that mush mm. on my face. And I mean, I guess I just have to go clean up. <laughs> Excuse uh, me. No, wait. Uh, hey. It's oh, too late. Do you hurt your feelings again? Her feelings it's too late. Really. But, but. Our wonderful like, whisker basket has has a handkerchief capable of removing all of the wa wastages of time and people and oil and damage. Oh, you, you honor gone. you honor me too much. I the fact is I'm an empty I I'm an empty vessel and I am not as superior in a nice way as all of you and I really. I would like to put all of you inside of me and then I would be special. But in fact, I usually carry, you know, like beach thongs and dirty bathing suits and stuff like that. I'm lucky I have this handkerchief. I'm not as special as all of you. That's that's a fact. Uh, so I act like I am and mysterious, but I'm not. I'm like full of like crap. Like, no, I'm not very special. The handkerchief looks full of blood. <sighs> Yes. Yes, it I is. Think, I think that I 
will get you a handkerchief to dry up that blood on you. And you are utilitarian, and I'm very proud of you. I'll see you around. Oh. Oh. I, I think it was my fault. I take responsibility. I failed. I failed. No. To light no. your way. No, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Like you are a superior being and I love you. That's it. I tell you now I love you. That's it. Now I have to go. And I'm really shy that I said that I love you. I failed. And now welcome to the part of the show called The Decision. Somebody has a, to make a decision between two exciting choices. And our decision maker tonight is Sandy, and she'll tell us about her choices. I have a daughter, Maggie, who's having a baby shower. I'm so excited to become a grandmother, but I sent in a tape singing Joe Cocker's You Can Leave Your Hat On to the voice. <laughs> and they want me to come in in person and sing another song to try out the voice. Anyway, I've got to make a choice. It both are going to be held on the same day. The baby shower, the voice audition. <sighs> I am the sweet layout that you knit yourself in folded in tissue paper that your daughter will open in the room where you would have been, but you're not there. Thank you. I am the microphone that John Legend puts in your hand. The one that leads you to your dreams. Singing in front of John Legend. I'm Joe Cocker's spirit, and I will be coaching you from inside and on your shoulder, man. I'll be there. <laughs> I love me some cocker. <laughs> I'm the invitation that you receive in the mail, letting you know that you'll be escorted to the voice in an ancient Rolls Royce with your initials on your own seat. Oh, yeah. I'm the tears on your daughter's face when she told you that after all of those years, all of those tries, that she was having a baby. I'm gonna be a grandmother. I'm Billie Eilish, and I want you to sing with me because your voice is so incredible. It's only after I hear it on The Voice that I'll give you a contract. I am her mother-in-law who will be there at your place at the table with the, the vast bouquets of roses giving a speech, talking about your daughter in very intimate terms. Your place will be empty. I mean, I can't let my mother up. I am Chrissy Teigen's dining room table, and there is a spot for you. John's wife is so, she's this so. Is your mother. This is your mother saying, I, I never abandoned you for anything. I was there for every important part of your life. It's time to make a decision, daughter mine. Hi, Mom. Oh. oh, okay, okay, all right, okay. Um. Okay, all right. 
Hi, uh, Cynthia. Hi. Um, yes, I know that you are the uh, person that got a hold of me to let me know that I had an in-person audition coming up with the voice. And I know that dreams really do come true. And I'll be there. I'll be waiting outside. And thank you so much. Bye. Mags, you're the one who told me, follow your dreams, Mom. And I'm going to cherish every minute with our baby. But this is my chance. What I learned tonight was that you don't always have to be a star to be loved. What I learned tonight was that you can't always get what you want, but if you try sometime, you get what you need. What I learned tonight is that being an empty vessel is powerful. <sighs> Do follow your dreams because they're what's going to keep you vibrant and timeless. We're get a room and thank you so much for having us, Mickey and all. And uh, we all met on uh, at Vintage. So we, did. It's, uh, we yeah. love Vintage. We love Vintage. Thank you. Vintage. We love you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy holidays. 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 Bye. 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 <laughs> That was wonderful. That's our last act for tonight. Come back and see us again next week. And then it will be Christmas and New Year's. Okay. Bye, all. Happy, Happy holidays. holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays.